So I'm over here with the grapes. Now we just planted this last year. Last year we bought it at um, Canadian Tire and it was just a tiny stick at the time in a little pot. And we planted in this big planter which we got for five dollars on clearance at one of the hardware stores. Um, the grape, as you can see, it's really taken off here. It goes all the way down our, our deck here. Um, the only problem we've had with this is that it had really poor drainage, this pot. So it would fill right up with water and then the water would just sit there. We've drilled these holes and since we've drilled these holes around the sides, the drainage has been much, much better. So it doesn't just sit in water anymore. If you look close, there's these beautiful buds on, on the grapevine here. So we're going to have lots of leaves and who knows, maybe we'll actually have grapes this year. That would be a nice treat. What we have here is uh, rhubarb. Now, Amanda started, got this rhubarb from Grassroot Gardens last year as uh, just a start. And uh, this year seems to be doing way better. Um, second year. This is uh, how many weeks, three weeks in, and this is what it looks like. Uh, so that's really great. Amanda loves rhubarb, not my cup of tea. We have this, which is actually starting to bolt, is uh, spinach. And obviously, this has been around, been here for a while, uh, from last year, it came up again this year. We have two plants here raspberries and again for the gardener who um, doesn't garden so well this is a plant for you raspberries obviously they taste amazing but these here spread like wildfire uh, we just had two little plants last year we got three whole raspberries out of the whole bunch this year, we are going to have a lot more, <laughs> just, just to kind of let you know. It was just two little plants here, but we've spread out here, 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 and here in one year. So if you like raspberries, this is great. So more than likely, this, if we let it go, will take over this whole entire bed all on its own so raspberries right here this is really exciting if you get a really really good close-up here Amanda this is actually pretty cool is the spines on these are absolutely insane if you can get right in there all little red spines can you see those so if you are going to do raspberries be warned that they are very picky. We're inside the greenhouse now, and I don't know if this is normal, but this is our strawberry bed. And let me see, it's early May, May 8th, I believe right now. May 7th, sorry. And this is just covered, covered in flowers. And there's actually small strawberries starting. You can see some of these tiny little strawberries. It's amazing that this early in the year we have strawberries. So I think we're going to have tons of strawberries. And the hard part for us is going to be trying to contain this strawberry plant in this bed. That was our biggest problem last year too. What did we start with? Oh my goodness! The beginning of last year we started with these tiny, maybe it was three tiny little plants. That was probably just maybe this big, not even. And in one season, it took over this whole bed and then some. So strawberries are pretty insane. Would this be a good plant for somebody who's not very good at gardening? I would say so because we didn't even do much for this. Like, we just tried really hard to contain it. Wow. Do you see this? Hang on, let me get a close-up. You see that? Those are all small strawberries starting. Wow, we're going to have a lot of strawberries. 
So uh, getting there green, selling strawberries at the side of the road, maybe? I think I'm going to eat a lot of strawberries. You know what's going to be hard? Keeping the ants out. The ants love the strawberry patch. So we need to eat the strawberries before the ants do. Okay, in this bed here, we're going to have cucumbers all in these squares here so that they'll climb this trellis. And we planted these by seed um, about 10 days ago, and they've just come up in the last about 24 hours. So I have all kinds of little cucumbers starting here. So that's pretty awesome. Nothing planted in here yet. I believe tomatoes are going to be in here. But these are peppers, and I actually took a pepper off this just yesterday because this is the one that was in the house all winter and it had that little pepper on it already when I planted it out here. But it's still getting cold at night, and I think this is frost damage. And the little pepper turned red already, and it was only about this big. I could show that to you. Anyway, so I took it off. But this is going to recover just fine, I'm sure. There's another small pepper plant there. And if I remember correctly, I think we did... We did carrots in here, right? And we did that on the square foot seed tape that we showed you in an earlier video how to do. So this bed is just about ready to go. Just needs some tomato plants in it. Okay, this bed here, last year we had... Uh, peppers and zucchinis in here and garlic. I don't remember what else. We tried broccoli in here. That didn't work. This is spinach and it's growing very, very well. Um, it bolted, but we just took the bolting off and just let it keep going. Anyways, it's fine. It tastes great. Now I just tasted the, a leaf, and the problem with me doing that is for the next hour I'm going to be craving spinach. That's what always happens when I taste test the spinach out here. Anyways, these were ones that we planted last fall, and they just kept growing, right? Here's some young ones, and I planted these this spring. They're starting to take off. I don't remember doing it, but I must have. These are romaine lettuce. Otherwise, in here is all beans planted. Three different kinds of beans. We have green ones, yellow ones, and purple ones. They're all bush beans. I couldn't decide what color to do this year, so I bought all three. And there are tiny little beans coming up. Here, 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 here. Now you can plant, according to the square foot gardening method, you can plant eight beans per square foot. So that's what I tried to do here. So we'll have lots and lots of beans, which is excellent because I love string beans. <laughs> love string beans, and we can always freeze them too. Same bed as the beans, we have these carrots, which we planted last year, and they are they're still growing. We planted them in the fall. Some of them are ready to come out now, actually. Shall I take one out? I'll leave them. Alright, and over here we have garlic. These are all volunteers. Came up on their own. because That dug one there? That's an onion. Th oh, this is an onion, which was also a volunteer. We just moved it over here, right? Because it made more sense. But all of these garlic are volunteers because we dug up all the garlic that we planted last year. But they were planted right here, so it's not a huge surprise. I just didn't expect I didn't expect them to grow in the room. Oh, um, uh, see that little thing right there? Uh, a little one right there. A little that there. It's chives. This smells really yummy over here. We got this kale from BC Garden 2010. She. Um, she mailed us the seeds and thank you very much it's delicious you know what I didn't know but kale is delicious so thank you for that can you describe the taste to me it tastes like peas like uh, 
a raw snow pea. To me, that's what it tastes like. That'd be great in a salad mix. Oh, it's delicious. That one had a worm on it. Better. <laughs> Okay, this bed here, for the moment, has uh, some cold weather stuff in it because I planted it earlier in the spring. All through here we have peas. What kind of peas? Um, there are a variety of peas. We have snap peas and snow peas and they're just mixed in here. Some of them were from seed packets and some were from peas that we grew last year and we just dried out the peas and then planted them this year. And I just labeled them miscellaneous peas because I wasn't sure which ones I had dried out. So they did really, really, really well. Now there's no pea pods on these yet, but they're growing crazy. So I'm sure I'll have lots of peas. Here we have more delicious looking spinach. Let me try that. A little dirty, but... A little dirt never hurt anyone unless it was contaminated. Mm. Yummy. Lettuce. Anyways, everything in here is growing well. There's some miscellaneous things in here. I don't know what they are. I don't know if there's something that we planted previously that just came up on their own or if they're weeds. I'm letting them go for now in case they're like tomatoes or carrots or something. Well, those aren't carrots. Um, I really think, I see, if you guys can identify that right there, see if you can identify that. I believe that those are marigolds. Maybe. But, um, because I think the leaves are very much like that. Um, but if you can identify that, let us know. Yeah, I'd like to see some of the starts I have here. Okay, let's see. What do we, what do we have? All right, these are ones that we bought, and these were heirloom, were they not? Those are heirloom, yeah. Those are, oh, what are they called? yellow pear cherry tomatoes and they really really do look like look here they look like hang on let me get a get a close-up of that they really look they like look like bears. that <laughs> yeah lavender and rosemary now lavender can you explain lavender <laughs> mm, i just love rosemary what do you want to know about the lavender describe a smell and What's your experience well, with lavender? lavender I don't know. Mm. It's not edible. It might be edible. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure lavender's Rosemary's not. Rosemary's delicious, though. But yes, we so delicious. bought this amazing rosemary. Um, two different, uh, you know, two we plants. We grew those previously ourselves, but um, they died off. So, like, we grew them in previous years. And they don't winter well, so you're supposed to bring them back in. Anyways. Alright, we have Randy's zucchini here. That flower was wide open this morning. Anyways. It's doing well. Um, I don't think it liked the cold nights. It's got some frost damage here. But it still looks like it's doing well. Where are we planting that? I think maybe where I'm sitting, where the peas are. I'm pretty sure that that was going on the bed outside. I don't remember. All right, we have red cabbage. Red cabbage, and that again, needs to go outside. That is definitely an outside one. This is not an. Oh, I got a slug on my finger. Hang on, let me get a shot of that. Oh. That's kind of disgusting. Is That's it moving? A... Yes. Do you see his little antenna things? Yeah. He already ate some of this, by the way. There's holes in it. All right, folks. So we have a little slug problem now uh, <laughs> in the greenhouse. You know, I bet those came with the plants. I don't know. <sighs> okay. There's a slug on my finger. Eat it. No. All right. What else do we have here? <laughs> I'm just going to hold it. Tricolor peppers. These are going in the garden or in the containers out front, just like they were last year. Cherry, chocolate cherry tomatoes. Well, and where will the chocolate cherries be going? I don't know. I don't remember. I have it all mapped out. Roma tomatoes. Roma's. Roma. Chocolate cherry. Chocolate cherry. 
nothing. This was supposed to be an onion. That's obviously not an onion. That didn't work. Yeah, don't think our onions did oh. very hot. Why don't you get that off your hand? Because I don't want it walking around in the greenhouse. Then squish it. Well, what else do we have here? Brandy wine, tomatoes. Brandy wine. Polish linguisa. Polish linguisa. Brandy wine. More brandy wine. Oh, this one's going to die. Um, Some of them are looking Bonnie a little leggy. Best. Yeah, they're pretty leggy. Bonnie Best. This one's going to die. It's a Polish linguisa. Red skin pepper. Okay, this is our potato box from last year. It's growing really well, as you can see. But the problem is, we didn't plant potatoes this year. So these all came up from last year. I guess we didn't get all we didn't get all the potatoes out because now they're growing again. And my one problem with that, my one concern is that you really aren't supposed to plant potatoes in the same soil two years in a row because it's disease prone that way. So I really wanted to take all that soil out and put different soil in this box. But now it's already growing and growing crazy, so I think I'm just going to add more soil to this and hopefully the fact that it'll have much more new soil than old soil will kind of counterbalance the potential disease problems that we might have here. But it's growing so well I hate to stop it. <laughs> okay, this was our Roma tomato plant that we were growing in the house all winter and it has a little Roma tomato on it. Um, I brought it outside a week or two ago because I thought, hey, it's warmer in the greenhouse than it is inside my house right now because it warms up quite a lot in here during the day and we've got the heat off in the house so it gets a little chilly in our house. So I thought, oh, I'll just bring everything outside to the greenhouse. Everything will love it in there because it's so warm. But the problem is it's still getting cold at night and it hasn't been down to freezing but there's obvious frost damage on the tomatoes. So I'm kind of sad to say, but... But you've got a lot of I new growth it. at the top. <laughs> yeah, um, the bottom doesn't look good. I'm hoping to get this into the ground soon and I'll bury it really deep. So even though the bottom doesn't look so great, hopefully that will counter any of the problems if I bury it very deep, but there are there is fresh growth, so that is good. Take you over to this bed here. Okay, I see a lot of curly things in that, like these metal posts. Yes, this is in preparation for the tomatoes we're going to be growing. We love these curly tomato spikes. Where did we get those? These are awesome. We just bought these at Dollarama, and they were $2 for these tall ones that we like. How tall are those? I don't know, like five feet, do you think? Four feet? Five feet? Well, why don't you stand up? Well... Pull, pull one out. Okay, it's taller than that because I'm five feet tall and I'm wearing shoes right now. So these must be about six feet tall, actually. So they're two dollars for these tall ones. They have shorter ones that are a dollar fifty a piece. But these are the most fantastic things. We used them last year for tomatoes. We used them for cantaloupes. They were awesome. So we went back and we just bought a dozen more. Um, so we're going to use a lot of these this year. I think we have a greenhouse ghost. Yeah, the door opens on its own. Okay, down here though, these are carrots that I think I planted them in the fall. Maybe it was earlier this spring. But they're very tiny still. So I'm going to leave these to continue growing. And back here I have more romaine lettuce that's doing quite well. Now this is a cold weather crop, so these really aren't going to last in the greenhouse all that much longer. But they're doing really well at the moment. Can't wait to have a salad. I know, there's enough leaves here between all of our spinach and our romaine lettuce and our kale. There's enough here for us to have a salad now. For the first time. And that's it.